So one of the things that we're adding to the portfolio of available plans for you is a short-term and a long-term disability benefit. Both of these are what we call voluntary benefits. That means when you do enroll in these, right, they would require a payroll deduction. As you all might know, there is a short-term disability plan that each and every one in California already has through California State Disability. That plan, however, only covers you generally to 60% of your pre-disability earnings. You are able to pick up an additional benefit by going into the voluntary short-term disability plan. And you'll see that it picks up to ensure that you get at least 70% rather than 60% of your pre-disability earnings. That's getting you a little bit closer to replacing your salary should you be unable to work due to sickness or accident. The benefit on this runs along with state disability. It goes for the first full year. So you're gonna see the benefits are for 51 weeks when you go through your portal, that's because the first week is what we call a waiting period. They won't pay you out immediately if you're unable to work. They make you wait until the eighth day. So your benefits under the plan begin on the eighth day, both for state disability and under the plan from principal financial. On this form, it says the primary uh, weekly benefit is 70% uh, of your earnings up to $1,500. And there's a similar it, there's a similar statement um, for a uh, long term disability. What what does that up to fifteen hundred dollars? What does that mean? OK, so all of these plans have a limitation on how much they will pay out. All so right. That's the maximum payout. So the maximum payout you could get, let's say, for example, principal financial found an employee to be disabled, but the state of California did not. It's rare, but it could happen. So let's assume that someone was able to get a benefit, right? And they qualified for a benefit based upon 70% of their earnings of $1,700 a week. The maximum this plan will guarantee you is $1,500 in a weekly benefit. Oh, that's for the weekly we, benefit yeah. amount. Okay, yeah, got correct. you. Okay, got you. Yeah, I wanted to make that clear that this is weekly. And when you look at long-term disability in a minute, it will be monthly. Okay. And, and, and briefly, for any of your employees who are still uh, planning for their families, pregnancy and childbirth are treated the same as any other disability. Okay? Important for you to know. Okay. So I picked that up. I I've had cancer previously. It's something that I'm concerned about. So I did that. It's going to cost me 31.36. And therefore, that's added to my little shopping cart down here as something that I would have come out of my paycheck. Yeah, Similarly, yeah. we're gonna have well, um, long-term disability. One thing we should say as we before we go on to the next one, um, both short-term and long-term disability depend on your compensation, which has been entered into the portal already. Um, so if for any reason, if you wanna double check that with Leslie along the way, um, these are all calculated off of values that we have and we were given, but we got this information about a month ago, month and a half ago. So um, if your salary has gone up or if you've gotten a raise, um, it may need to be updated here. Now, the disability people over at principal, when you file a claim, will actually ask you for paycheck information. So they will make their new calculations then. But if you wanted to show up correctly in our system, um, the way to do that is to just double check with uh, Leslie or or even with us, just so that we can make sure, you know, confidentially that the right numbers are in there. I will make it a point um, um, in the in the you know next couple of days during open enrollment to be sure that um, all staff um, 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 uh, pay salary is uh, is correct and updated. Thank you for that. Okay, so what happens then at the end of a year? So when I had cancer, it took me quite a long time to battle it. During the first year, you get state disability benefits. If you join this plan, you'll also get benefits from principal financial. But at the end of one year, state disability goes away. When it goes away, in general, to qualify 
for social security disability is incredibly difficult. So we have a long-term plan. This plan is ha actually incredibly low priced. You'll see that for me at $7.63. And these benefits would begin right when the short-term plan ends, and it would give me 60% of my prior earnings to a maximum of 6,000 per month. So long-term disability is a monthly benefit, short-term disability is a weekly benefit, okay? This is gonna protect my occupation at the temple for two years. So basically, for most employees, that would mean a minimum of a two-year benefit. And at the end of two years, if I was still totally disabled and unable to do any work, potentially, these benefits would be paid out to the time when I turned 65. For some of you, retirement is now 67. For someone like my brother, I think retirement is now age 70. <laughs> so, um but it's basically going to go to the normal retirement age, depending on you know, your bracket with Social Security. And the idea here is we want you to have an opportunity to protect your income because that's your main livelihood should you be unable to work due to sickness or accident. The life insurance is great. We want you to protect your loved ones. That's incredibly important. But at the same time, we find a lot of people today get an illness and so many things today, they're able to fight the illness and continue and go on even when they're unable to work. And so this is going to protect your ability to have an income, to pay that mortgage or rent payment, to pay those car payments, whatever it may be. Obviously, very important for you to have an income on an ongoing basis. Yeah, so the, the one thing before we go on to the other benefits to note is so yes, the the temple is is now um, giving us the ability to offer these plans. The thing that's really important is most people cannot get this coverage on their own. So a long-term disability plan, right? This isn't something that you can get from a, a spouse or something like that. The benefits don't work that way. They're only offered to the employee, right? And why that's so significant is your employer has to be able to offer that coverage, which is what is happening now. So that's awesome, right? This is one of the only things that's gonna protect your paycheck. That's why they, they sometimes label long-term disability as a paycheck protection. And you know there are long-term disability policies out there in the world, but unfortunately they're super expensive. They're hard to qualify for because you take a full medical exam. So getting it through you know, your group setting is a great way to do this because it's probably one of the least expensive items you know, that are out there, right? And it's going to protect you because at the end of the day, um, we always bring this up at meetings is a lot of people might go out there in the street and they get hit by a bus, but they don't die. So what happens? So if you don't die, you still need something to keep you living. So that's the long-term disability plan. But we'll talk about like in, you know, a minute or two, you know, term life insurance, which that's going to pay you out if you do die from getting hit by the bus. But the way I see it, unless the bus rolls over you twice, you're living. Um, can, can you, uh, can you uh, answer for me on the, on the, um, on the, on the disability uh, uh, benefit sheets? Um, it's, it, it talks about um, own occupation period. Can you tell me what that means? I can. So it, I, I thank you for bringing that up. So um, for you exactly, you're the administrator for the plans. For other employees out there, they could be a, a rabbi, a cantor. They can be an office manager. They could be a teacher. This is saying that if you can't be a teacher, if you can't be an administrator, that's your occupation and that's what we're protecting you against. So as a teacher, right, if, if you're interacting with children and you're unable to do so due to the nature of your disability, they're going to consider you disabled, right? Even if you could do other things and they're going to do that for two years. If at the end of that two years, you're still disabled, and you're unable to do any other work as well, they're gonna consider you'd be totally disabled and potentially pay out this benefit until the day that you would normally retire. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so the own occupation 
is the single most important part of the policy. Because if that two year own occupation was not in there, the policy would definitely not be any good at all. So if, if anybody has ever looked at one or wondered, hey, what would be the difference between this and something that could be less expensive or whatever, it's usually that definition of disability. That's everything. 